Welcome to the tutorial for 3D Studio Max for uh, integrating mechanical uh, uh, mechs to uh, or any type of uh, leg based uh, supported uh, object for a game environment. It's a low poly environment that's done by Gabe, one of my students. Um, what you'll see here is uh, two, two models. Uh, originally it was all in pieces and got the uh, lower part, the pelvis, down to the legs, the feet, and then the upper portion which is the turret. And if I go into bone mode, and I'll just demonstrate what, how I've rigged this up, is I've got a in here the uh, a head, and uh, the head actually controls the entire turret in this case. And then I've got a um, a leg bone in uh, in here, and it controls a, the complete leg um, uh, for rotation. And uh, and what you can do is I can actually go in and take you note know, once you've got a rig you can go into what's called the um, keyframing tools of uh, biped go into what's called the uh, copy paste pose mode create a new mech pose collection um, copy this pose call this the neutral Oops, sorry. and uh, raise the leg store that pose and call that raise leg and then take the turret here um, as soon as I paste back the uh, neutral pose here take the turret have it rotate right and copy that pose get turret right and what you've got here if I go auto key if I go in here and I can go back to neutral paste that go in here Take the turret looking left, right rather, paste that with the auto key on, paste opposite, right, uh, do a, a leg up, paste this way, and then do an opposite the other way, and then back to neutral. And basically, you've got a nice little animation, as you can see. And what you can do in uh, you can control, of course, those keys, but you've got a pretty much a nice little animated uh, character. So the idea, uh, objective one, is to uh, understand how to create a biped for this type of object. And we'll just hide the geometry to how to set up this weird looking object. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, erase this existing biped and start from scratch. And what I'll do is I'll create a biped. So the idea here is it's a couple objectives, create a biped, just a biped but then use what's called the uh, scale mode to uh, scale by element or sorry select by element mode to adjust the properties. So what I'm going to do is take a biped here and uh, go into my figure mode and move the biped over to the uh, and I always match the pelvis first um, take off auto key of course while I'm doing this um, first thing you're going to have to do in this case just going to bring out the biped just to make it a little easier to see is to widen the uh, the pelvis area so because I'm in figure mode I can actually start manipulating um, these uh, these particular nodes uh, another thing in this structure that what I want to do is bring it down to one spine length there's really a lot not a lot of them really matter and I'm going to bring this one down and scale and I actually can shape this if you want to make it wider just to shape it um, the shoulders are re irrelevant with this type of, uh, of, of object, but you can match them up if you like. Um, you could have extra things spun off from the top. Uh, you never know. Um, but anyways, you got that unit. You've got to match up the legs now. So if I go in the front view, let's get out of figure mode. Front view here. And uh, what I'm going to do is match up the... Uh, the uh, the legs, so the, the knees about right here where the joint is. So I'm going to scale up this and lengthen this to match, just temporarily because I'm going to have to rotate them here pretty soon, and I'll have to do more adjustments. So what I'm going to do is go into perspective mode. Um, so let's take. And I'm going to bring the center of this character in okay and I'm going to rotate each leg so they match the leg of the Mac 
I have to go into uh, the mech mode here, make it invisible so I can match it up, and then rotate each one of these legs to match the lower leg of the mech and the feet. So as you can see, you've got still more adjustment on length to do. And uh, just, rot oop. Uh, just rotate that to match. So what I want to do is scale the uh, the legs to match. Oop, the right direction here. And uh, this leg to match. So once that's done, uh, basically the arms aren't doing anything. So you can actually rotate them out of there so that they're not conflicting with any of the skin modifiers. I know it looks really weird, but... Uh, um, but the arms aren't doing anything. So the key here is that you want to uh, basically in usually um, a tool is apply what's called a skin modifier to most objects. So you want to add all your bones. So in here, expand all here. We're going to go select children. Select all the bones um, and have them linked to this. We're going to have the head linked to this here. So the first thing we're going to go is show you there's the head. And we're going to select the link this here to the head. So what should happen now is that the head, when it turns, go into bone mode, it should affect the, the turret. Whoop! No, it didn't select it right here. A sec here. Uh, go back. Just like this. We'll link it and select by name. I hit H on the keyboard. Make sure I get that head right. And link. So now when I rotate the head, it should rotate the turret. Oh. So the head. There we go. It rotates the turret. So that's the first thing. The most difficult part of this is this part. Where we add envelopes. And what we're going to do is, normally this is checked off, select by element. We're going to grab the left calf, which is this area. And what we're going to do is select by element, by crossing. We're going to cross all this, take off the feet. And uh, in order to see everything, you want to hit Alt-X. And then if you go down to here, you hit absolute 100%. That will be the hard selection for the lower leg. Go to lower foot, same thing. Grab all the elements below and go into weights 100% selected. Now in this case these uh, these hydraulic cylinders here they're gonna have to uh, be dynamic cylinders dynamics but for now we're just gonna do um, the, uh, the major parts and for the fly here same thing grab select by element so 100% so what should happen is that you should be able to take the bones those locations for example this one in here just go invisible here character you should be able to go into bone mode grab the bones and be able to rotate the complete leg to see the reactions you can see I missed a few in the feet so all I gotta do is go down to the foot of that particular character right selection here that foot and uh, go make sure I'm in envelope mode and again make sure I'm going to select the element and get the ones I missed um, on the feet I've got some missed objects probably right around here I just select that area again and make sure I don't have this selected and go 100% and select, make sure I got everything and looking good so let's try it again. Let's go into the lower leg by bone mode. Go into rotation. Yeah. Oh, still got some missing ones right here. I'm missing them right here. So I'm going to have to go in there a little closer and uh, edit those. But after I've got all that done, I'll do the same thing with the right leg. Um, Go by element, and uh, that will give you a full rig.